Today we'll be looking at a challenge problem for arithmetic and geometric sequences. So we're given that the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence un is given by sn equals 4n squared minus 2n. Three terms of the sequence u2, un, and u32 are consecutive terms in geometric sequence, find m. So let's first use this property where we have u of n equals sum of the first n terms minus sum of the first n minus 1 terms. And let's make this quite general. So let's say we're given that s of n equals 4n squared minus 2n. We can subtract, we can plug in n minus 1 for n, and let's say minus 4n minus 1 squared minus 2 times n minus 1. Then let's try to simplify this. We have 4n squared minus 2n minus we would have 4 uh, n squared minus 8 n plus 4 minus 2 n plus 2, right? So let's simplify this even more. 4 n squared minus 2 n minus 4 n squared. So we'll have uh, minus 4 n squared. So be minus 10n, so plus 10n. We have plus 6, so it's going to be minus 6. Simplify this, we move this with negative 2n plus 10n, so we have 8n minus 6. So we have the general form for un equals 8n minus 6 according to this, what we're given, and this property, where we take the sum of the first n terms minus the sum of the first n minus 1 term, gives whatever term this is, right? That's just using all the pieces of information that we're given in the problem. So now we're given u2, um, and u32 are consecutive terms in the geometric sequence. That means they have a common ratio r that's multiplied to get the subsequent terms. So let's plug in u of 2. Yes, u2. And we're given in the general form, un equals 8n minus 6, so 8 times 2 minus 6 equals 10. And let's do the same for u32. It equals 8 times 32, which is 256 minus 6 is 250. Now, let's use another property of geometric sequences. We're given the ratios uh, between the terms are going to be uh, cons the ratio between the consecutive terms is going to be the same. So that's why it's a common ratio. So we can say the third term divided by the second term is going to equal the second term divided by the first term, because this is just making the use of ratios. So we can say u32 over u of m, the third term over second term, equals second term u of m over u2. Let's, let's cross multiply and give it um squared equals u32 times u2, right? And we've already solved for u32 and u2 using this general formula that we derived using this and what we're given in the question. So we basically have um squared, so let's say um equals the root of whatever 250 times this is, so that's going to be 2500 root of 2,500, we've got to make a perfect square, so it's just 50. All right, so we have u of m equals 50, and then we have the general formula for u of n. So we can plug in uh, 50 as the value of u of n, because we know that that's our term value. So now we want to find what term, what, what term number produces this term value. So we say 50 equals 8n minus 6, Let's rearrange it, 56 equals 8n, and we have n equals 7. Um, well, it actually asks you to find m, so I guess we could replace this with um uh, equals 8m minus 6. Uh, it won't make a difference, actually, because this is a general formula, so we can change um, whatever our m is. 
So we could say add equals sub, and that will be our answer.